Every 15 seconds, a worker dies somewhere in the world from a work-related accident or disease, and 160 have a work-related accident, according to the International Labour Organization. Meanwhile, companies are striving to achieve zero accidents, making it a strategic priority. We asked a major corporation about its approach to employee safety. For a company like Ferrovial Services, it's essential that we, um, we pursue safety first. The reason being we're a business of 76,000 people, um, we work internationally uh, and many of our people work in high risk and hazardous environments. So it's really important that we find a way to design out those risks, um, take people away from harm um, and actually make sure that everyone goes home safe. In the sphere of occupational health and safety, a new ally has emerged. New technologies are helping to make work safer using virtual reality, wearables or automatic signage development. Certain tasks previously required workers to be physically present on roads or railway tracks, with the danger inherent to working near vehicles or trains travelling at high speeds. Automation of processes such as deployment of signage and cones or railway repairs means it is no longer necessary for them to place themselves at risk. Another technological innovation that protects workers is the creation of digital detection and safety systems for work zone invasion in extremely hazardous areas on both roads and railway tracks. These systems are also capable of using alarms to alert workers if they enter a high-risk area on railway tracks. Professional drivers can also use an app to be notified in real time of maintenance works being carried out along their route, so they can take precautions. Vehicles can also be fitted with devices that warn of the proximity of pedestrians, cyclists or roadworks. Under the premise that all accidents can be avoided, Drones have now become an essential tool for overflying major works or infrastructure projects for the purposes of surveillance and immediate incident control. And technologies ranging from drones to virtual reality are being used to raise awareness of the risks of a specific job by simulating potential accidents on roads or railways or in firefighting or by helping people to experience what it feels like to drive when they are fatigued. Sometimes we have to put them in hazardous environments. When we do that, what we need to do is monitor their health and well-being and also try and change their behaviour over time to more uh, understand the risks that they're exposed to and try and help them work more safely. At a company like Ferrovial, implementing these innovative technologies in pursuit of worker safety has resulted in a notable reduction in the rate of lost time accidents. Insights into the psychology of safety are paramount to understanding our most deep-rooted habits and mechanisms in order to improve the culture of safety and achieve an accident-free working environment.